Hello everyone, we will continue the topic table buffering and under the table buffering, we will continue generic area buffering and we all know very, very well now in case of generic area buffering, the records which are matching the generic key will load into the buffer. The best example is language dependent table. Whenever you are going for generic area buffering, yes, you need to give the key fields for the generic area buffering. You are going for generic key. It means you need to define the number of key fields for generic area buffering, which will act as generic key. Now, the number of key fields for the generic area buffering is less than the primary keys of the table. Now, what we will do, we will go to the system and we will do the practical for the same. Now, I will go to the table. This is our table. We all know, yes, our buffering is the part of technical settings. If you see, table has three primary keys, including MA and DT. And yes, whenever you are defining the key fields for the generic area buffering, take MA and DT also into consideration. I will go to technical settings. I will go for buffering activated. Whenever I will go for buffering activated, I can choose the buffering type. I will go for generic area buffering. And have you seen it is asking for number of key fields means what is the number which will act as a generic key. So in our current scenario, table has how many primary keys including MA and DT? Three. It means the number of key fields for the generic area buffering must be less than three. It cannot be equal to three. If you will go to equal to three, suppose if I'm giving three, anyway, system will give the error. I will go for save. Suppose now I define three. It means I, ICP has to take this also country cons into consideration. This also, this also. If you are passing all the three keys, it means it is a single record. It is not generic area buffering. So it must be less than. So I choose three. If I will check the syntax, system will give me the error. It is clearly saying this number of key fields is not permitted. So now I will change the number and I will make it two. So when, because I want all the records of a language, so I gave two. Two means it will take MA and DT and language these two things into consideration. These two will act as generic key, MA and DT and stars. I will activate. So our generic area buffering is activated for this particular table. Now I will go to the program and I will show you. So I will go to the program. This is our program. If you see, we are fetching data from same to same table. This is our table. And generic area buffering is activated for this table. If you see, in the where condition, we have SPRAS. SPRAS means what? Language. And I gave product ID also. I gave SPRAS and I gave product ID. As of now, those who don't know programming, no problem. Just think this, this is equal to English. It is a system variable for the language. Anyways, in the future, you will definitely learn the topic system variable. Then you will get the full idea. Just as of now, only this much knowledge is enough that this variable is equal to English because I logged in into English language. Whenever I logged in into SAP, it is English language. So this SPRAS 
is equal to English. And yes, we are giving the product ID. We are giving the product ID. I'm running the program. I'm giving product ID. I'm giving product ID. See, I'm giving product ID. Just see this table. If I will go to this table. Now, if I will show you this table, if I will go to the contents of that table, we are giving language as English and we are giving product ID as one. But there is no problem when the, the output will be this only. In the output, I will get this particular record. But what is the part of generic key? The generic key based upon this and this only. So these two records will come into the buffer. Only this record will not come into the buffer because the number of key fields which we defined as generic key based upon these two, based upon these two. We have not taken this as a part of generic key. Anyways, we got the error when we pass all these three as the generic key. Yes, in the output, I will get a single record. That is not a concern. But yes, all the records of a particular language will load into the buffer. These two records are loading into the buffer based upon generic key. Because generic key is based upon this and this. If I will show you the buffer, we all know AL12 is the transaction code. If I will go to monitor, buffer, table buffer, if I will show you the contents of the buffer, this is our table. I will continue. And have you seen the two records of the English language came into the buffer? Other records did not come. We pass the English language, yes. And what are the key fields based upon these two key fields? Whatever the records are matching or are loaded into the buffer. Suppose if I want to go for order, I want to go for product ID 2. If I will go for product ID 2, yes, I will get a single record of product ID 2. And this two, this order number two details came from where? It came from the buffer itself, two and toothpaste. So this is the way how generic area buffering is working. Important concept, extremely important concept. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we did the practical for the generic area buffering table has three primary keys. So we try to give the number of key fields for the generic area buffering equal to three. But SAP is giving the error because it is never, never possible. If both are equal, it means you will get a single record. You will not get the records, all records of that particular generic key. So in our current scenario, we gave the number of key fields for the generic area buffering equal to 2. It means MANDT and SPRAS will act as a combination of generic key. And when we run the program, yes, our generic key is based upon MANDT and language. So all records of the English language came into the buffer. Other records did not come. Have you seen other records are not in the buffer? So yes. So whenever you want to load the specific records into the buffer based upon generic key, always, always prefer generic area buffering. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.